Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And unsurprisingly, Disney is doing damage control over the X-Men 97 situation. Mm -hmm. So we've been reporting the last couple days that showrunner Bo DeMeo was mysteriously fired like a week before the series was supposed to debut. And we're not getting a straight story as to what happened. Some people think it's because of his OnlyFans. Some people think it's because he's difficult to work with. And, uh, you know, but that could be biased based on, you know, the, the Witcher writer's room and all that. But now Disney is trying to be like, oh, no, we didn't fire the guy. Uh, uh, we just decided to part ways. Right. You parted ways and all the social media went down. I mean, he took all his social media down, too. That's just weird. Yeah, so they're gonna try to salvage this. There's already a bunch of backlash from fans. They're concerned about Rogue and Morph and all this other stuff. And they think it's gonna be a skin suit of a show that was very popular in the, the 90s. Um, but uh, you know, we won't know until next week. We'll see what happens. But regardless, Disney is definitely trying to um, pull it out, I guess. Pull it. Is that appropriate given that he was on OnlyFans? Yeah, uh, I think that's yes. So before you get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, this is coming from the AV Club, which is still in business. So good for them, I guess. Marvel says it didn't actually fire the X Men '97 showrunner. They simply parted ways. Yeah, it's still. What's the difference? Parted ways mean you disagreed to both to, to, to quit. But then if someone disagreed to quit, why are they taking their social medias down? Creative differences. It just it doesn't make sense. It's called you have a you have a clause that you can't say anything. So we're gonna say it's parted ways, and then you're just gonna have to go with it because you can't say Jack, and then you're gonna pull your socials down so no one can ask you. Yeah. So Marvel Studios has addressed DeMeo's exit, sort of. Per Entertainment Weekly, Studio TV head Brad Winderbaum fielded some questions this week about DeMeo's departure saying he couldn't get into details, but pushed back on circulating assertions that DeMeo had been fired by the studio. I don't, he responded when asked if he'd characterized DeMeo's exit as a firing. We parted ways. That's the best way I could say it. Yeah, that, 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 wait, you said, I can't say it. we parted ways. That's the best way I can say it. Legally, that's the, the best that way. That makes it look more suspicious. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Say, yeah, we shit can the guy because we had videos of him jerking off on OnlyFans. Well, fans. I don't know if that's what he did. No, but I'm saying if we that is that. that is the leading rumor, we don't know. There, there are lots of rumors out there. But I'm just saying if that was the case, this is Disney. They're not gonna they're not gonna say that. And we're probably not gonna know. They're probably gonna like sweep it under the rug and hope that most people don't know this. And, and look, most normies, they don't even know, they don't even know shows coming out. No, I think it's more to do about the fact that they got rid of him and they're trying to hide it because this is, uh, they're diverse people they would want, you know? I mean, I'm not saying this has nothing to do with his talent or whatever. I'm just saying it's going to look like shit when you, you fire someone who is, is not white and not straight. And then you fire them after making a big deal about hiring people that aren't white and aren't yeah. straight. Yeah. Well, I was kind of like uh, Victoria Alonso, like when they got rid of her. Oh, they, it's because I'm, I'm a lesbian. Yeah, but they were like, oh, no, we just decided to part ways. And the da, 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 da. and it's like, no, you, you shit candor. That's what they keep doing. They, they keep saying part ways, part, part ways. ways. That means they got rid of you, most likely. Do we know that 100%? No, I'm not going to claim that we know that 100%. But that usually means you got gone. I'm sitting here thinking like, you know, on The Apprentice, it'd have Trump be like, we're going to part ways. <laughs> <laughs> like we have... You dropped the ball. You cost me money. We're going to part ways. You're parted. I'm going to trademark that. Um, yeah, so this is damage control because it is a bad look. I mean, it's a really bad look. All the headlines are screaming. It's bad enough they have to deal with fans being highly suspicious that this uh, X-Men 97 show is going to be very, very current year. And then you fire the showrunner a week before well, even AV club. Okay. AV club is like, so Marvel still is using his work, praising him publicly, but can't talk about the details. What the hell happened on this show? It may or may not have anything to do with the show, but yeah, they said up here that, um, Bo had a real respect and passion for these characters and wrote what I think are excellent scripts that really the rest of the team were able to draw inspiration from and build this amazing show that's on screen. He also made it clear that Disney is still really into the show itself Describing plans to line up a showrunner for a not technically ordered yet third season. Well, they claimed that he was already starting to work on ideas for the third season when they got blindsided with being removed. So I don't, I'm, I'm sorry, parting ways. He was planning on going to the the the, the, premiere, the premiere. Yeah. 
he was still working on the third season, like ahead of the game, like working on it because they thought they were going to go that way. Somebody who willingly parted ways, you know, this seems like it was out of left field for, for him. Oh, it totally was. And look, even if, even if they parted ways, he scrubbed his entire social media yeah, presence. That's what's so weird. I mean, I thought it was kind of weird anyway. Like I said, I, I didn't know the guy was straight, gay, whatever. I had no idea. I just, I was going out to his, his Instagram, his Twitter to find information on X Men, and there were there were a lot of pictures of him shirtless. I thought that was kind of like, huh? But uh, he works well, out, yeah, and he's proud of it. I guess put pictures up like that all the time, so it's not yeah. Like I mean, I didn't see any pictures of him whipping out Cyclops or anything, so it's like okay. But um, <laughs> they call it Cyclops because you can go blind. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Just... Oh God. His optic blast. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, there, there is definitely, definitely, definitely something else going on. I, 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 I am just personally, this is just a hunch. Um, I think there is something going on with Cyclops because he purged the social media accounts. Okay. Just completely scrubbed them. And the, uh, like I said, it was is the like, only fans taken down too. I, I don't know. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not going there, but Something something went down uh, in that space. And the thing is, maybe he kept the OnlyFans up because he's got to make money now, right? He's got, to, he's got to make money somehow. I guess if you can do it that way, like I don't care if you're considering adult, you know, whatever. But yeah, let's look at the comments on this. This is again on AV Club. Maybe you could, maybe you could all do some research and see that he has a horrible reputation of abusing staff members on shows he's worked on, instead of blaming the potentially bad quality of the show. You could first link the exit to his reputation. So this is probably guy person. Oh yeah. So this is probably somebody, see, this is where it's going to get really confusing because there were a lot of salty writers from the Witcher because he basically threw the entire writer's room under the bus and said, these guys were like, I tried to warn them. Me and Henry Cavill tried to warn them. They were deviating too far from the books and too far from the video games. And, uh, you know, and they were attacking him. Now, this person says, if he has a, a reputation of abusing coworkers. That's absolutely information I'd like to see in the article, but no point in this article does it blame the potentially bad quality of the show. That is true. They didn't say anything about the quality of the show. We don't know. Says that something was very wrong with the show, which would be true if he was fired for abusing a staff member. The show is the entire production. Yeah, this person is just like nitpicking. Yeah, but go, no, go back up. They, 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 they actually have a point, but it's at the end. Um, at the problem, okay, but they're saying about they would have... Why would they have parted ways with him so abruptly after two seasons if the show was bad? I don't know. Maybe you're just reading something into the article that wasn't there you wanted to read. But I'm just saying. But like, why would they suddenly part ways? Yeah, I don't think that's I don't think that's the problem. And we know that 90s X-Men are popular. I was actually watching a, a world-class bullshitters video last night where they were going out to different stores and looking at the toys that were selling and the toys that weren't selling. And the only Marvel toys that were selling were actually the 90s X-Men action figures. Well, at ours, they're on clearance. I mean, you'd think if the quality of the show itself was bad, they would have caught it before they were two seasons. We don't know the quality of the show, though. They're, they're not going to say our show sucks and that it's quality related before it releases. That would be really stupid. I'm not going to even guess about the quality because it hasn't been out yet. So we don't know. So it could come out and be a completely shitty show. We don't know. We honestly do not know yet on the quality of the show until it releases. I uh, hope it's not because of his OnlyFans. We don't um, know. Someone else mentioned this. Does he have an OnlyFans? Yeah, he does. It was actually in... Uh, some of the interviews now, I, I am thinking if it's not actually like there's something going on, you know, that's, that's definitely not above board. I'm thinking just the idea that Disney is trying very hard to pivot now because of everything going on with the, the proxy war and all of that and having a showrunner on effectively a children's show out there saying like, yeah, I got an only fans, even if it's a clean only fans, well, people know. are gonna be like, well, what the hell? I at the end of the day, this person has it. I suspect legally, which is what I suspect too. No one can say a thing while the show is coming out. Once the first season finishes, we'll get the dirt. It might not be then. It might be whenever the NDA is up. But we'll get the we'll get an answer at some point. But right now, I don't think they're going to let that happen because they have the proxy war and the show hasn't come out yet. So they're trying to to do as much damage control ahead of the release as possible. So we are not going to get a, a straight answer in the in the near future. You're definitely not going to get a straight answer. Yes, you're not. Um, yes, for sure. 
I but, see what you did there. Wink, wink. Yeah. So yeah, it's just like, I don't know guys. Uh, it's interesting, but this is, this is a very Disney thing. Yeah. Cause they don't want to come out. I mean, what are they going to do? Like the show drops, uh, Wednesday. I think it comes out Wednesday on Disney plus. And that's the last thing you need is this big ass controversy. Like, Oh, Bo DeMeo was fired because he was toxic to work for. Oh, Bo DeMeo was fired because he was whipping out Cyclops. Oh, you know, right before the cartoon. And then you've got all the talking heads being like, this is why he was fired. Oh my God. Disney hired a groomer, you know, and and like, like right before the show comes out. That's, that's all we need. I just have to laugh that everybody keeps using the Cyclops image and you can't tell me that's just coincidental. <laughs> that's not coincidental. Like, it's just it. one eyed mutant. I was just you know? like, like, look, if you can make money that way and you're okay with it, I don't, I, that's, that's your business. I don't give a, I don't give a shit, but, um, it's just like, I, I, I don't know if that's the actual issue. You know, um, and again, it's going to be hard until you actually hear from and you're going to get his side of the story. I don't think Disney's going to say Mm-mm. shit about it. They're not going to say much about it, but you're going to get his side of the story. And as soon as he comes out and tries to give his side of the story, you're going to have all the ass mad Witcher writers room people coming out of the woodwork, too. Yeah, we don't you know. know. So we we're not going to know, know what actually happened. Um, yeah, and uh, Dizzy's already saying only nice things because uh, they'll say about him, but then they'll say bad. They'll talk shit about Rosulo and and. Um, yeah, I know, right? But, um, you're, they're just going to play nice. We don't know what's going on. I just think it's very weird if they just parted ways. One, they're saying parted ways, which is odd. And two, the 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 erasure of the social media accounts. That's what. That's really what's suspicious. Weird. That's... So who knows? Basically, who knows? But you know, hopefully, we'll find out someday. That's yeah. Where it's at. Now, will the show be any good? I don't know. We don't know yet. Again, <laughs> I have again, no idea. Know. I have no idea. We're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. Yes. All right. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And we'll talk later. Bye.